Hello, 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 Old Man Gamer here, and we're going to take a look at Those Beneath Us, both Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 by Cheyenne Studios. I'm not going to do a walkthrough. Chapter 1 is a, um, is a big maze. It's confusing, and you get through it, and then you're stuck going through it again to try and find another way out, and uh, I just got fed up with it after a while because it, it really is... A big maze and you know I figured out fairly quickly how to find the four buttons you need to get out but then I couldn't figure out how to find the route to escape I did figure out something just now though looking at these badges it says Easter egg chapter one now when I was playing the Easter egg I noticed these tiny little gray dolls that look kind of like kind of like a I don't know just like a, a, a scary humanoid and I think that this is that I think that you have to find those dolls which is not very hard if you don't know the map and you're trying to get through the you know and you're like doing what I usually do which is all left turns or all right turns in a because that'll get you out of any map that doesn't have the exit in the center um, but so yeah I can basically find them all and then there's chapter two there's a secret ending for chapter one there's Easter eggs in chapter two which I'm not sure what that's about and then I'm not sure what this finish what you started thing is for. I'm, I'm just concerned that it might be something else. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so let's go ahead and get on in here. Okay. Now, as I was saying, um, the first. Uh, the first chapter, oh boy, I hope this is going to work. Um, there is a glitch with this game, I need to tell you. When you go into the game, you will often discover that the screen is black and it stays black. Okay, so you're going to have to exit the game and try again and again and again to get into the game. It may take you a couple of, of the first make it happen on the first try just now when I was gonna do the video I got in the first try uh, now I'm not uh, the first there were times me and my friends and other people that were talking in chat were complaining about how you couldn't see anything there's no light and this is actually supposed to be a credit screen so let's try again hopefully it's not gonna take too many more times it is kind of vexing and I submit a bug report because this game has the ability to submit bug reports um, to ask them to please fix the bug because I'm sure there are a lot of people who don't stay in the game because they don't know what's going on with the black screen. Alright, now we have to wait a few seconds and see if the chapter, or sorry, the, the, the initial credits for Cheyenne should be start and it didn't start. Uh, I'm sorry, you might want to just squeak ahead a little bit until you find the actual start of the uh, game. Alright. Now again, you do have to wait several seconds before you go out out and back in again because there's a slight delay before the um, credit screen actually pops up. But, and this may actually take some time. I'm sorry. Boy, oh boy. Now again, in the first uh, chapter you are in a ship and things go horribly wrong and you have to go down into the ship and then you're trying to fix things and you're trying to avoid this monster that roams around in the dungeon in the maze sorry and in that maze there are uh, four buttons that you must press now I will tell you a secret if you happen to notice a red light kind of shining through a wall as you're going through this maze it probably means 
that you are getting close to one of the buttons and you should try to work in the direction of that light. If it's a green button, well, that means obviously that that's one of the buttons you've already pressed and you can avoid going that direction again. But, you know, um, if you can memorize ma the um, maze, which I'm good at, it takes me quite a bit of time to kind of get familiar with a maze, especially a largish one like this. Um, yeah. Yeah, so let's try it again. Why did you trick them? Hmm? Why did you trick them? Oh, we get watching. <coughs> Cheyenne Studios present those beneath us. Now, why is it called those beneath us? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. There's no explanation. Um, it's confusing. Um, maybe it has to do with uh, in the first chapter that you're going downward in the ship, and so there's, and in the second chapter, you're above the Earth in the space station. Uh, I, I don't know. You'd have to ask Cheyenne Studios. That would be a good time to do that, is to uh, maybe give some kind of an explanation somewhere as to why it's called that. There we go. Okay, so user agreement is here. I've already read it, and I, it's pretty simple. Uh, most people should be able to understand it. I'm gonna click on enter. This person apparently is not a native English speaker. I have not tried survival mode. We'll try try that later, I guess. Uh, kind of like a probably a more painful version. There are other versions uh, that they have not released yet. Let's see, so they're planning more. So the first is in the Atlantic and the second is, as I said, on the space station. All right, and now that actually is the monster that will be chasing you there. This guy, I don't know what he is. Okay, so you can play single player or multiplayer. I think that if you can get a team that isn't going to bunch up with you and stay with you all the time, that'd be a good idea. Here's where you can submit your bug reports. Alright, so I'll go ahead and do it alone. If you want to take a look at the fan art, go ahead and do that. If you want to submit fan art, go ahead and do that. So, as you can see, there are some glitches in the game. I think I'm going to have to manually teleport. Teleportation user, are you grateful? Beware of the unknown. Okay, I have a low... Um, I have a laggy... Please be careful if you have sensitivities, weak hearts, if you have a sensitivity of some kind, heart problems, epilepsy, you should not wear this. Headphones or surround sound, is, they're definitely the best choice. If you can't hear which direction the monster's coming from, you can't run away from it, can you? Okay, so this is a submarine. So I'm actually 
actually on a submarine. Now, I found this out from a friend of mine who was trying to play this with me who wanted help with the maze, and eventually we just got so tired of the maze that we quit the level even though we were doing so well. You need this number, 2759. So I'm just going to put it into chat so that I don't forget it. All right. And then you want to go out here. And from here, you can use the stick. Now, it says the fire may go up, but we'll come back after a while. And you will sometimes notice that you seem to be having, uh, taking some damage. Uh, I think that these are because, and I think it'll mention it later in the game here in a little bit, that there is a problem where there are pockets of CO2 and the CO2 pockets will okay, Initiating emergency will cause you to have problems breathing and put out the torch. Why this is happening, plant, I don't plant, know. Plant, 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 it only goes plant, that narrow, plant, and then it just plant, stops. Plant, 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 plant. There we go. Back to normal. Okay, so this is a map <coughs> of this floor. Not very useful for... Uh, I forgot. I had to go find that doll look at these or just read them from a distance we finally arrived to the Atlantic Ocean it was an extremely loud and exhausting two months we've managed to prepare for our designated site within the limit, small limitations of time that we've been given I'm just worried that the four we've sent out have been gone far too long it's unsafe to say I'm oh, sorry it's safe to say we can't leave until they return happy then. Alright, so now it's all opened up. Uh, I'm going to, I believe if I remember correctly, that there is actually a, um, one of the uh, Easter egg dollies in here. So now I have to go back and look for it. Yeah, there it is right there. There. So, now I know for sure. I did actually try touching them before. And I didn't know you had to remove your torch to be able... Oh! I didn't know you could do that. I, didn't, I don't know what that's doing, if anything. I don't know if there's a function for the game or if that's just decoration for people who like to click things like me. Not that I'm scared, mind you. I don't get scared. Not in video games, anyways. And not much in real life, either. You need this. Although, I can't tell you how to use it. You can't get it. You can't do it here! Um, this game, um, on this chapter... I should. Nope. Okay. So that's where the escape pods are. Remember that. I think that 
um, tapping noises made by the little bugger, or the little Easter eggs. The commander made sure the control engineers of Sector 3 remotely wired security cameras around the submarine. There have been reports of a strange humanoid creature, but it was later called off. I'm unaware of the danger, but we're in, but I don't think we're all out here. We just feel like something is beneath us, Cheyenne. Great. The vent in the bunker holds what you see. And that's what I already got. So, I haven't actually tried this yet. So let's see what, what was it again? 2759? Is that right? 2759. Yeah. Now what do I do? Oh, interesting. So I can see something bad happened in this room, which is like a, I don't know, an engine room or something. I'm not here. I'm looking at my own position and I'm not in here. Oh, Wouldn't it be scary if I saw the monster? Huh? Yeah, it's just my torch is there, but I'm a ghost apparently. I don't find the buttons, I know. Die. I don't want to die. Hmm. There we go. No! So happy to see us. Hello? He doesn't get crossed. That's not broken. Mm. He doesn't get crossed. He gets ripped in uh, pieces. Ooh. Get the gas. Get the little guy. And again, I can't pick it up with my a torch in my hand. I'm not going to show you the whole level. Hopefully you'll get to see the monster. <coughs> as long as you <coughs> keep on moving, he can't catch up to you. Unless you go down a dead end. But there aren't very many dead ends in this maze. Then again, I've just tried to follow the perimeters of this maze in order to... Hmm. I wonder... To the basement is there, but I can't get in there because of the boards and the crowbar doesn't want to cooperate. I wonder. I want to try something though. What things are you talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. No idea. Or 
what? That one. This yeah. thing? Yes. Those are, it had an E on it? Huh, well, I guess we'll have to check that out. My son is a good, um, a good bit more observant than I am. Is it over here? Interesting. That didn't work very well. Hmm. Maybe it just flickers a little bit sometimes. Well, I heard the sound of glass breaking too. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Not welcome if the monster's coming because of that. All right, so this is the way down. Actually, so we're actually in a much smaller <coughs> area right now. The monster. No. Okay, so if I go that way, that way, that way, that way, that way, I think I've been everywhere. That's not a big maze. Hmm? That's not a big maze. Well, this isn't the maze. The maze is downstairs. Which, which way was it? Oh, this way. Maybe. Maybe. I hope I found all the dollies. Okay, been there. Oh wait, did I did I find a doll in that room? I did, right? Next to the uh, diesel can. need to get the crowbar again. Do you remember which way the crowbar was? There's another one of the Easter eggs. Turn it up a bit then. Just turn it up a bit then. Bit. Alright, I don't want to miss anything. Alright, I've been there. I came from there, I guess. Notice this game does um, cause motion blur on the screen. 
just in case you're, you're interested to know that sort of thing. No, there's not the crowbar. I wonder if the game took the crowbar out once I picked it up. Seems that way. seems to have removed it. Alrighty, I was really hoping I could remove the boards right now, but apparently the crowbar is a one-use item, which is kind of annoying because crowbars are definitely not a one-use item. Yeah, I don't like how games just let you only use one thing once. Yeah, it's very annoying. Like a crowbar, that would last for... Crowbars are very strong. Years. Yeah. Like, I don't You'd have to do something pretty severe to a crowbar to break it. Even bending a crowbar is difficult. I've bent crowbars, but, you know, not with my sheer muscular strength, but by using it as a lever. Okay. Oh, come on. I have. Oh, come on! Freaking. The engineers are dead. We've lost all communication to headquarters. Hardly any of us made it out alive. It created carbon dioxide leaks in the basement. All gas masks were destroyed in, in, the, in breach. the breach. And I might have inhaled too much already. I don't know how many of them are beneath us. All I know is that one is lurking. I managed to ration all the food I could find, but I don't know how much longer I can last. Uh, okay. No, I'm not Cheyenne. Why would I be reading my own notes? That makes no sense. Enough. Enough. Yeah, silly goose. Hey, it's a possibility. Nah. There's always nah. possibilities. Nah. Nah. I don't think so. Okay, in, in this area it gets really hard to see. Oh, really? Yeah, so you get into that area and you run away from the monster and get back on the elevator going to the next level. So we are actually going down two levels now. So, um, yeah, that was one of the monsters. Maybe I should have let a guy get us, but I think the game would have pulled me back anyways. And the blue is just um, an uh, illusion because I um, haven't got a good enough graphics card in this old laptop of mine and can't justify the cost of it, seeing as how I haven't got a job right now. So, your support is greatly appreciated. Let's see, can I move it? Nope. That one doesn't work. So as you can see, the water has got a bit of a reddish color to it. Lovely, isn't it? As in many other games, the lighting has a horrible time keeping up. Wait a second, I don't want to get out of here first. Ow. Yeah, I'm taking damage, so it's, it's forcing me to leave. I just don't want to miss... Um, another doll. Oh, wait a second. Is that useful? Yes, I have to push that. I don't know why I have to push that. Or if that's the only one. I don't think I'm going to die doing this, though. But I think that that is something we, my friend and I missed when we played this earlier. And that it may make a difference at some point later. Or not. I want this one. Really stop hurting me. Stupid game. Stop being mean to me. What did I do to deserve it? We can't go this way. It's actually locked up. Later we'll get through there. Though. If you play long enough. Alright, fine. I'm leaving the room, okay? 
All right, so there are a couple of buttons in that direction and a couple of buttons in this direction. And dolls are scattered about, too. I'm going to assume that I won't find all seven dolls in this maze. There is... Oh, that was a weird glitch. It can see. Run. So here's the first one. Alright, so, just want to make sure I didn't miss anything in here. That guy had a horrible day. Yeah, at least his, at least his headache is gone. Yes. So here's one of the dead ends that I mentioned. But, if you look carefully, and I didn't notice this before, there is that button there, and I honestly... Ah, uh, fudge. That is the monster. Yeah, he got me. Respawns left five. Yeah, it's really not very fair that you're in a dead-end area and you get caught by the monster in that dead-end area. So now I don't know where I am, um, which is okay, because the map is big enough that it's easy to get lost in here anyways. And you can see that, you can hear rather, if you have a good uh, system for hear, uh, sound, that the monster is moving around in that quadrant. Um, not far from me, so I don't want to go that way, which is that way. So I'm going to do my best. Uh-oh. I hear him again. I wonder if there's more than one. There's the red light I was talking about. Can you see it? Oh, dear. Oh, darn it. He's coming. If you have a laggy connection, you're probably going to get killed by him. But if you have a regular connection like mine, is fairly good, and I've got my graphics setting low, and so on and so forth, you should be safe. I do not know how f how far away you have to be before he'll stop pursuing you. I don't know if he follows a path or if he moves randomly either. I do know that this is a dead end now, and if he's coming toward me, I'm going to die again. Ah, uh, man. Yeah. So that really sucks. Getting trapped in a dead end again. Boy. And I'm back here again. Wow, great. It's <coughs> you around. No, it's in a different direction from me. So I'm just going to go this way. Maybe I'll get lucky and find one of the other dolls. Okay, so I'm back at the place where it got me last time. This is great. No, that's good. No, it's in a different area. What that means, I have not seen that before. I think it's because of the generator that I turned on. So I think maybe I should either be very happy or very unhappy. Yeah, so I'm just going to do all right turns, and if two minutes have passed, here's a dead end. If two minutes have passed, then I'm going to go back there and see if perhaps um, an exit has been procured, which is probably why my friend and I couldn't get outside, because we didn't know about the little button. So it may be very useful. Ah, red light shows that we're on the path to a button. If I keep on going this way, I should get to it. The lights, I don't know. Maybe the lights do. I was wondering about that when I was playing earlier, if the lights had anything to do 
with finding the buttons. There's a button right there. Yeah, yeah, could, you may be right. Okay, that's two out of four. No, the monster is continuing to hunt us. Or me, I should say. So I'm going to guess that probably your intuition about the light is not wrong. That it's probably an indicator of the way you should go to find a button. dark hallway as you can see this really sucks for me the lighting just cannot keep up <clears throat> oh another dead end I don't mind so long as I can see but it's kind of frustrating that the game is so glitchy that it can't show me yeah, the light well they don't necessarily know how I mean so much I'd like to do with the one we're building, and I don't know how to do the stuff that I need to do. <clears throat> well, they do have some small glitches in there, too. Remember? What? You may have, you've forgotten about the monster getting stuck? Why is Roblox Studio open? Alright, hold on guys. Alright, so I found another button it looks like. It seems I have to go this way. I do not know what this red light is, is for. It, will, ooh, it is pushable. Huh? Yeah. I didn't know what to do with that, but hopefully it's going to be good. So I would strongly suggest that any buttons you guys find while playing this game, you go ahead and push them. I don't know, maybe this will turn into a walkthrough if pushing all those buttons makes a difference. Man, it's a long hallway. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. And of course, okay. the submarine isn't this big. And yeah, this isn't really a submarine. I mean, unless it's like a super gigantic and submarine. No one would make a gigantic maze, maze inside of a submarine for indeed, the US indeed. Army. Truer Same words were never spoken. So actually, I've done three of the buttons. I closed it and it opened again. Did I just open it? I don't even. Ah, uh, that's so annoying. Okay. Uh, when you get to the point where you've got all the buttons done and you're trying to escape. Please note, you will have to continue to keep moving down the serpentine corridor that leads out. Because, why? Because the monster is behind you, chasing you, trying to catch you. Now, when you get to the end of the corridor and it looks like it's dead, a uh, dead end for you, kind of step to the side in that little space on the left of the corridor. The monster will come ahead and when it gets to the near the end of the corridor, it will just explode. Not sure why. But then you'll find yourself back in the room you started in, I think it is, on the other side of the fence. <laughs> um, that, that door. And you'll have to eventually break your way out of there. So now you can see the green light from that button I just did. <clears throat> Alright.
right. So, gotten that done. And I think what I'd like to do now is trace my steps backwards, if at all possible. And go back to the exit and see what, if anything, has happened. I think it's this way here. I don't know if I've even tripped all of the buttons that I need to trip or push or whatever. So nothing may have happened at this point, but we'll find out. Okay, that was the dead end. Apparently, this is going to be very vexing the lack of light. Alright, so the timer is done. Nothing has happened. And I can't open it. But let me see. Back here. And let's try again to get that. Oh, I did get the button. Okay, so that's wonderful news. All right, so what happens is you get the last button done. You're going to go off to the right there where I was just at and go through that exit. The monster is going to chase you along this curving serpentine corridor until you get the end, to the end and it will explode. You'll find yourself on the other side of that, that uh, closed gate. You have to get it open and you'll go to the elevator to go upstairs. The elevator will break tell you that you have to find a different way out and I think that's the importance of the buttons that I've been pressing that I had not really paid much attention to because I couldn't press them when the um, ooh, nope that's the wrong one I couldn't press them before uh, because of the torch and not being aware of that fact But now I know, and you know, I could hear the monster. The monster is somewhere nearby, hopefully not going to get me. You probably will have to go into the darkened corridors without these balls in order to find the other Easter eggs. Maybe someday I'll do that just so I can get the silly badge, but probably not. I think I took a wrong turn here. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, well, I've already been this way. I'll try going this way. This is confusing. I feel like I'm... You know what? Actually, I feel like I have turned myself around. Oh, vexing. Let's try going this way. And whatever happens after that, I'm not sure, because that's when my friend and I gave up trying to play this because we didn't know about the buttons. We didn't know you had to disarm the torch in order to interact with those buttons. Because, you know, other things, you press E, and it's all good. This is not one of those things, so it's a little bit weird. You know, uh, it's also a little bit weird that you pick things up like the, cro uh, the crowbar, and it doesn't show up in your, in your inventory. Oh, the hall where I died. Okay. It's also annoying that you can't hold the crowbar after you've used it to break down the wood. It doesn't really make sense. But, you know, whatever. I'm not the developer. It's not my game. Let's see. Okay, so, I think that's enough of this. Unfortunately, uh, it's, I'm going to have to exit and get back in. So, I'll do that in the next video. This has been long enough already. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope please be a kind gamer.